Alley Cat has been undergoing a complete rebrand and we can't wait to share it with you. But it's not just about a new look, this rebrand goes deeper. We're taking a hard look at our core lineup and making some changes to keep up with the ever evolving trends and customer preferences. That means a few beers will be put on hold, like Buena Vista, Fishbone and Full Moon, but we'll still have special one-off releases for these favorites of our loyal fans. Be sure to reach out to stay in the loop. Um, the opportunity kind of came up with the introduction through Neil, just kind of getting to know him, getting to know the industry, and it kind of came about that he was looking to retire eventually and didn't have a 100% exit strategy at the time. So discussion shifted towards a possibility of taking over Alley Cat. Neil's enjoying retirement now, which is great for him. He set up and built a great a great business here with Alley Cat, a great name with Alley Cat. Definitely um, helped lay the foundation for craft beer general in Alberta. Being one of the original craft beers, it was not uh, not an easy go at first just because of some of the hurdles and obstacles to overcome. But obviously, as you can see now, craft beer has exploded in Alberta, like most of the nation. But overall, yeah, definitely just being one of the founders and just a well-known name. If you still talk to people throughout the industry, they know who Neil is or they've worked with Neil or they've had help from Alley Cat or... Half the brewers had somewhere have worked at Alley Cat at some point, so definitely a great um, builder in the industry. Oh, he's a great guy. Yeah, I mean, he was kind of one of the first brewers, craft brewers in Alberta. There was a few other like Big Rock was around back then, and there were a few other breweries that have since closed. But right around that time, it was like Neil, uh, Wild Rose opened up a couple years later, a year later, Brewsters. So it was kind of the that little original burst of small breweries in Alberta and like, you know, help pave the way for, for the craft brewing industry here. He was great. I mean, he'd been obviously an industry titan for, for a long time. I mean, he's kind of the grandfather of, of people who have called about the grandfather of craft beer in Edmonton. Um, being the oldest microbrewery in, in Edmonton, his knowledge, the, the game's changed quite a bit in the time that, you know, when I got hired to, to now. Um, and I think, you know, with what he did for how he brought the company to where it is is amazing and i think where we're going now with new ownership is also exciting too so i've liked both sides i didn't know a lot about the beer industry itself so that's something that um, was a learning curve for me so when i kind of came on there was a, it was a good transition period the alley cat name's not changing the same great quality's not changing um the ties to the community aren't changing. So all of that's still going to be there. We still have the favorites, the Apricot and those that are around. We wanted to bring in um, different insight and opinions from all of our team. So we kept our entire team, everybody from, you name it, from myself to sales, to marketing, to the brewers, to packaging. Uh, my name's Chase. My name's Lachlan. I'm the production manager. I'm the sales manager at Alley Cat Brewery. So I oversee kind of all aspects of production from recipe development to brewing, packaging, warehousing. Um, I've been with the company for about five, um, so five and a half years, actually six years today was my anniversary. Been here 15, 16 years. So yeah, it's been a good place to work. I love it. Um, it I mean, I've always been just in beer, so I mean, I like to drink it. Um, it's just a fun industry, honestly, the people are the best. Um, it's, you get to, you know, work with an exciting product. I mean, who doesn't really like talking about beer? I mean, as opposed to selling paper or something, I'm selling something that people are excited to, to have, to, to drink, and to talk about, so. We were kind of the, one of the more established places helping, you know, pave the way and make sure, you know, that we're making good beer and helping, well, help other breweries, other new breweries that have started. You know, if they've got questions or need help with something, we're, definitely more willing to help make sure everyone makes good beer. So the initial plan moving in was to to learn, basically to learn the base of the business, the core of the business, not change up a whole lot off the bat with Alley Cat. But overall, after getting that full understanding of the business and really being fully immersed, definitely wanting to put my own stamp on it. And to do that, it did require a full rebrand um, and an outlook that we really wanted to push forward. All of our cans are hand-drawn by a local artist. So great artwork across everything, very unique style, but a very cohesive style across all of our brands. Um, bringing in some new beers and then really playing to uh, the Alberta's great outdoors. So every can has some sort of outdoor Alberta image on it from 
being in the mountains to Edmonton's downtown or cityscape to Alberta lakes and even um, even a backyard hockey rink. You name it, there's a lot of good stuff going on there. That's one thing we definitely are striving for is to be an Alberta brand, not just an Edmonton brand, but still maintaining our deep ties to the Edmonton city. By doing this rebrand, we are bringing in further community aspect by bringing in those local artists, enhancing that. So, and bringing in more of those ties to the Alberta landscape, to the Edmonton landscape. So really we're, we're only actually enhancing what Alicat already was. We'll come up with a recipe, we'll test brew it, we'll sit down as a group, decide what we like or don't like about it. And if it's great, then we'll go ahead with it. Sometimes we'll decide to brew it again. And so we do do, you know, testing to make sure we're moving in the direction we want. You kind of figure out what you want to make first, and then you kind of start from there decide, you know, what do you want to do to make it kind of unique? Or do you want to do a really classic version? And then you start going down that rabbit hole of what ingredients to put in. It's kind of like cooking, like I love cooking. So like that part of it, the exciting part of it is like making something that tastes good and you know, you've made it. The Apricot is our flagship beer. Uh, it has been for many, many years. It is our most well-known brand. You'll often ask people, if people ask you for the Alley Cat beer, they'll often ask for the Apricot. They, with meaning Alley Cat, but they'll say Apricot just because the two almost go hand in hand. Fruit beer in general, as you'll see from our lineup, we have Apricot, we have our grapefruit, which has been around for a long time. We have our raspberry sour, uh, Razzy Cat, and then we also have uh, Mangalorean as well. So that's be quickly becoming another main staple that's been hanging around for quite a while. So we definitely play off of the fruit beer thing for sure. We're still still maintaining that Alley Cat quality and that Alley Cat feel. It's just a, it's an ever, it's an ever evolving business. It's just staying up with the trends. Um, a good chunk of the beer business is the marketing side of it. So looking at how does a can look on a shelf? How is the company involved in the community? What other aspects are you involved in? Putting great beer in it is one piece, but there's more to craft beer than just having a great beer. Well, obviously we have a great craft beer. We want to continue to grow that craft beer throughout Alberta. Overall, we value everyone's opinion. Like I said, that kind of leads back to our, our big team and inclusive nature of Alley Cat. So we want to have everybody, um, everything from naming the new beers that we kind of threw it out there. We always have a whiteboard in the lunchroom that we will kind of put a descriptor of beers up and say, write names on the whiteboard and let's see what, throw everything in the wall and see what sticks. So a bad day is we still put beer in cans. <laughs>